Oh, welcome to Rockstar Rob's Radical Gaming. And this is another random gameplay video I got for you guys. And it's one of my favorite games from Square Enix. And it's uh, Star Ocean. One of my favorites in the series till the end of time. I used to have the strategy guide for this thing and I had it on PS2. And I think you guys will really enjoy this game. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to start a new game. You get battle trophies too. This game has a lot of things, a lot of lore behind it, and it has a lot of, you know, features you can explore, like battle trophies. It has different difficulty settings, different unlockables you can unlock, different endgame pretty much things like uh, different endings to explore as well so this game has a lot of playability but without further ado let's start a new game and we're gonna go widescreen this we're gonna disable event skip we're gonna give you guys subtitles and voice and Keep that on. And this is the difficulty settings. Can't do the universe yet. That's hard. This is normal galaxy. And the Earth one's the easiest. So for this purpose, if you guys end up wanting me to do a Star Ocean till the end of time, play it through completely, it'll be on the Earth level. Because this is, this is an actual pretty difficult game. Even on the galaxy level. But we'll do the galaxy level here. And I hope you guys enjoy. Star Ocean Till the End of Time offers you the option of importing previous battle trophy data when you start a new game. Don't load. Do you want to start without importing? Yes. And here we go, guys. This is an epic game as well. <sighs> Little fun fact, this is where I usually get my uh, game playing name. Y you guys might not know this, but a little fun fact, I call myself Fate in most RPG games because of this dude right here. Sophia, you startled me. I thought you were swimming down at the beach. I was waiting for you, but you never came. You said you'd play a few games and then head right over. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't plan on staying so long. I got kind of sucked in. All right. Well, that's what I thought happened. Didn't you say you had tons of homework to do before we came to Haida anyway? But I was fighting so well today. And I leveled up a lot too, you know? Yeah, yeah. How nice for you. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood today. You'd rather play games than hang out at the beach with me. Sophia? You aren't mad, are you? I'm not mad. Do you want to go to the beach? I swam enough, while somebody I know is having the time of his life playing games all by himself. So, do you want to take a walk through the hotel? I bet it'll be fun. What do you say? Come on. Please, pretty please. <laughs> well, if you want to hang out with me that badly, I guess it's all right. Great. Let's go. Time's a wasted. Okay. So now 
Boy, she sure is taking forever. I bet she's making me wait on purpose. Took you long enough. What were you doing all that time? Just changing. I didn't take that long, did I? Besides, you kept me waiting. How long was it? Serves you right. Right, right. <laughs> Shall we? Okay. Just don't yank my arm off. And this right here is pretty much your map in in the bottom right corner there. This is how pretty much it's going to look like and you can tilt the camera a little bit. I think later in the game you can kind of have a different view. But with this right now we got an upward view. Let's go in here. This is just a corridor. Can't remember where to go in this. I don't know if you gotta discover every single room or not. So we're actually just gonna go here. All these transporters are linked with the hotel's main floor. The main floor has chat members, an entertainment and game room, and a transporter linked to our private beach. Let's go in here. And now, uh, can't remember where to go. We'll go through here. Grintiar Resort Hotel. Let's try here. Another uh, main character. This is the girl Seti's dressing room. Someone just came barging in like that, but you're so cute. I'll make an exception this time. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you said the Rossettis? What? You didn't know our troop's name? Don't go forgetting it now. Say, what's your name? Faith, but... I'm Sophia. Right. My darling Faith. Yep. From the Fairy of Illusions, Pepito Rossetti. All done. Oh, what the? <laughs> hey, you can't just draw on somebody's shirt. anything about wanting an autograph? Huh? But... I mean... Well, but I thought... Then... You want my mama's autograph? Or... My papa's? You can't want Vanilla the Clown's autograph? Or... Versus the Strongman? Right? No. We're not really looking for anyone's autograph. What then? Are you a salesman? Nah. Come to think of it, you look like the kind of guy who's never done an honest day's work in his life. I know. You're here to collect on a loan. Well, you're too early. That loan's good until next month, they promise. No, no. Who are the Rossettis anyway? And what's with this Fairy of Illusion stuff? Well, 
We're not really lost. Oh no! You're robbers! No, oh, no. No, not that either. Then what are you? You're not one of my fans. You're not here to collect on our loan. You're not lost. So what do you think you're doing barging into our room like this? Um, I'm sorry for barging into your room. We were just taking a little walk, checking out the place. Isn't that right, Sophia? Mm -hmm. A walk? Yeah, a walk. Barging into people's rooms isn't called taking a walk. <laughs> That's for burglars, or lost kids, or stalkers, or groupies. Uh, okay then, we're lost. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Faith. Good idea. So you were lost. That explains it. And I thought you were my very first fan. Oh well. It's not like I performed yet. So it did seem a little strange. You're a performer? That's right. We're the Rossetti Troupe. And we bring you a fleeting vision of the future. I'm your fairy guide, Pupina Rossetti. Well, if you want to hear it in plain Terran, we're a circus troupe. And I am sort of the host. Oh, so this shirt with your signature is going to be worth something. <laughs> of course. It's the first autograph I ever signed. The first? Tomorrow's my debut. In six months, why, you could buy a whole planet with that shirt. Oh, yeah? Amazing. An entire planet. I guess I'll have to take good care of it. Hey! You don't believe me! Uh... No, I believe you. No, I believe you. I'm sure you'll be dynamite on the stage. And you get different uh, choices you can do throughout the game, and it does affect the storyline as well. Some of them do. I'm in a good mood, so I'll give this little present to you, my first fan. Huh? A ticket? Yeah! Our show's tomorrow! You better not miss it! After you see us do our thing, You'll want to treasure that autograph for the rest of your life. Gee, thanks. I'm looking forward to the show. Great. See you later, Fate. Rosetti performance ticket obtained. Now, had we chose a different option, I don't think we would have got that ticket, but I'm not quite sure. That was a bit of a long dialogue there. I think we're just gonna just wander around. You probably won't see any battle stuff, you know, in this video. But that will also bring on the anticipation to check this game out for you guys itself. But I promise you that the battle... The battle sequences and the battle uh, gameplay is awesome. You will love it. It's all real time, it's not turn based. Let's see, I don't know where to go. And I know the beginning of this game, there's just, there's a lot to do and a lot to explore. And it, it's very beautiful as well, as you can tell. I'm not going to go in every single room here. I just got to find what we're doing. Oh, hello there. You're the youngsters from next door, aren't you? Can I do something for you? There's a lot of depth into this game and the storyline and multiple characters and just really awesome things about this. 
I'm gonna see if we can't find where to actually go so I can show you some battle gameplay. Oh, I think I found. Yeah, maybe not. Let's go in here. There's the lounge. I just remember this hotel has one of those new combat simulator games. We have some free time, so maybe I should try to get Sophia to play a game or two with me. Okay, this will show you the actual battle gameplay. Games again? But you are just playing. Keep playing games all the time like that, and you'll turn into a brainless muscle man. Hmm. What to do? Try to persuade Sophia. Why don't you give it a try, Sophia? It's really fun. But isn't this one of those combat simulators? Don't you have to fight? No can do. I don't like these kind of games. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Don't worry. I'll protect you. you do anything dangerous. I promise. Come on, try it. character that uses symbology from a distance rather than one that fights up front, right? Yeah, well, it won't hurt, will it? Don't worry. Beginner's level doesn't hurt at all, really. Okay, I'll give it a try. Alright then, we're about ready. Simulator. Please set battle system parameters. What do you want to do, Sophia? Let's start from the beginning. You want to take a look at the instructions? I don't know. Should I? You probably should. Otherwise, it won't be much fun. Okay. I will. You can use the battle simulator here. The battle simulator allows you to play the battle tutorial. Initialize your battle trophies and view descriptions amongst other things. Battle trophies. A battle trophy is something that proves you have satisfied certain conditions in a battle. There might even be special rewards for those who collect enough battle trophies. Gathering battle trophies requires a memory card. Okay. Because this was a P this is originally a PS2 game, and then it got uh, remastered for the PS uh, or brought over to the PS4. Okay. Precautions. Pretty much any certain moves or anything that you do in a battle can earn you a battle trophy. And they're pretty fun collectibles to get and might even give you special things in the game. We'll just start game and I'll explain. All right, let's play. Player 1. Fate Line God. I like that name. Character, Swordmaster Adonis Klein. User level, Triple A. Player 2, Sophia Esteed. Character, Flair Witch Cecilia Fairmana. User level, E. Battlefield, Remote City of Listia. Monster level E. Setup complete. Continue. Okay, we're ready. Preparing to commence. 
This simulation system may abort a game if it detects that player safety is at risk. I already know that. Just start. <laughs> Confirmed. Commencing game. I'll give it my best shot. Looks like an even match. And this is the battle. This gameplay. Really fun. You can press X pretty much just to do your moves, triangle. You go through your tactics if you want tactics to escape, if you want to escape a battle and you're not ready. Some battles you can't escape from, which are boss fights, and so on. Uh, symbology is if you deal with magic, you can do magic moves and abilities. Items if you want to use potions or whatnot. Equipment if you want to change your equipment in battle, like your sword or whatnot. Your weapon. And then these are the tactical skills or tactics, and that's pretty much it. So triangle to open up that menu. Otherwise, X repeatedly is to fight. The target is square, I believe. You can even hold X to do special moves as well. But it is really fun gameplay, really fun battles. Great storyline. I think you guys will dig this, especially the RPG gamers out there. But wasn't it fun? Well, it wasn't too bad, I guess. Okay. What now do that you say I we stop now and go get a bite to eat or something. You look pretty bushed. Yeah, I'm beat. <laughs> you need more exercise. Hmm. Guess I'm just a fatty. No, jeez. No one's saying that. Sheesh. Hey, let's go find my mom and dad. Right. Oh, here we go. Actually, you guys get to see a little bit more. Level 2 Tremor Detected. The system will be temporarily deactivated for your safety. We apologize for any inconvenience. An earthquake? But Haida 4 is a stable world with no tectonic activity. There shouldn't be any earthquakes. This is going to really open up the game for you guys. It may want you to really play it even more. This is an emergency alert. Haida 4 is currently under attack by unidentified spacecraft. All civilians should follow immediate evacuation instructions on the nearest console. I repeat. Computer, all what's going on? Remote Station 7, Haida 3 and Haida 4 are currently under attack by unidentified ships. Oh Remote no. Station 7 has scrambled its own ships to mount a counterattack. But they are outnumbered and therefore unable to provide evacuation assistance to Haida 4. An attack by unidentified ships? Stand by for video display. And these are some great graphics you get in these cinematic <laughs> scenes. Sophia, I'll stick with you. Thanks. But who could be attacking us? Never seen ships like those before. I wonder if mom and dad are alright. First things first. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Yeah. 
Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, Faye, I'm really worried about your mom and dad. You think they're okay? I don't know. But at any rate, we gotta get somewhere safe fast. Sure, I'm worried about my mom and dad, but we need to think about ourselves right now. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Oh no! What, what am I gonna do? No, I gotta relax. Relax! First of all, I gotta get away from here. Really booking it. Wonder if they're okay. What are you sticking around here for? Didn't you hear the announcement? We gotta get out of here. Well, Fate, I could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Hurry up and go before it's too late. Hurry up and go so you're saying you guys are staying here? We're waiting for my mama and papa. If we leave now, we'll miss them, won't we? But forget about us. What about you guys, Fate? Why are you still here? Whether you're gonna, whether you're gonna evacuate or trying to find somebody, you better get a move on. Yeah, Fate. We should go find mom and your mom and dad right away. You're right. Whether we try to find my parents first or just evacuate immediately, the situation's gonna worsen the longer we take. Okay, let's hurry, Sophia. So Sophia must be his girlfriend or someone he likes. I thought at first that they were brother and sister, but when she says your mom and dad, that makes me think otherwise. Okay, we gotta get the heck out of here. Due to the state of emergency, all transporters have been redirected to set where a large transporter waits to take him to the emergency shelter. After the arrival of all guests at the shelter has been confirmed, the transport jammer located in the evacuation facility will be activated. Evacuate in an orderly and speedy manner. Will do. And these right here are save points. You can go in them, and uh, I'll just explain. You can go in them, press triangle, and this is our main menu you get throughout the game, just like any other RPG. And you can go through your magic and whatnot here. You can uh, go to your equipment here, items, set your skills, look at your status, change your game options, your tactics, dictionary of any monsters or any people you find throughout the game, change your card, you hit card here, and then you hit save. That's how you save the game. Every time you're in these things here, it automatically heals you, gives you MP and HP. So, okay, I don't know why I went in a circle, but this is pretty much where we're going to end the video. Hey! Uncle Robert and Aunt Ryoko! I'm glad you're both here. You guys too, Dad. What a relief! I was so worried. What's going on, Dad? Is Aldian attacking? Probably not. From the looks of their weapons, it's most likely... Most likely what? Never mind. We must get out of here. Let's go. Please wait here. Is something wrong? There's a long line to use the transporter up ahead. You'll have to wait your turn here. I see. We'll wait then. Damn! How'd they get in this far? Uh oh. Keep going! Keep moving forward! Let's get out of here. Yeah. Here they are! Run for it! There goes that dude. There goes that dude. Robert. Yes. As I suspected. Dad! 
Dad! Run, you two. Uncle Robert? Just get out of here. But... Get moving now. You have to protect her. That's right. Hurry. Don't worry about us. It's all right. We'll be at the evacuation facility soon. Promise, Dad? Promise. Let's go, Sophia. Okay. They're getting away! Use the incapacitator! And we get into a battle. Now this is the real deal. This ain't no An attack from behind? Um, simulation. <laughs> and just like every other RPG, You have a like a time limit window to attack. Then you gotta recharge. Damn it. I'm scared. Don't worry. Just stay behind me. Okay. What are we gonna do? There's no end to these. Huh. What the heck is that? Now I think we get her in our party. I know you do later in the game. Nope, she's in our party. battle that gives you extra XP EXP if it don't break Wasn't that easy? See, got 200% bonus. Didn't 
you hear me? It's an inferno back there! It's way too dangerous! Come on, you two, out of my way! I'm trying to go with the, uh, you know, the talking of the. Welcome to Aruba Shelter Five. Of the game, but I'm trying to kind of hurry it along because I only have a, an hour time limit window to record this. This is an evacuation shelter located underneath Hida Four. Please wait in your assigned rooms until the rescue ship arrives. You are allowed to move freely about the facility, but there are some restricted areas. Please refer to the consoles or ask the nearest official for detailed instructions. All right then. Well, we're going now. we go? There's nothing left to do here anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm sure your parents are okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Oh, one second, please. You've been assigned to room 506. Remember that. Okay, 506. Got it. I expect the rescue transports will be here soon. Please try to relax and wait. Okay. I forgot how this game kind of uh, lined up. So it ain't going to be where I thought we were going to be outside and stuff like that. And in some new attire or whatnot. This is where I'm going to have to end it because this is a pretty long prologue. So uh, that's going to be that, guys. And um, let me see if I can go back. I don't think I can. Nope. Okay, so that's going to be that. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this playthrough little demo video of Star Ocean till the end of time. Please give my video a like and share. I'd really appreciate that. And comment below. And if you enjoy my content now or interested in any further content I'm going on in the future, please subscribe. One subscriber means a lot to me. And also, if you really uh, like this video and like this game, please check out this game and purchase it on the PlayStation Store. It's about 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And it's a great game for that you know, for that price you're getting a really great amazing game an amazing adventure especially role-playing game star oceans are always the best just like Final Fantasy and uh, yeah you're getting a really good game here and I, I think you get deeper in the story you really love this game and uh, but if you really want to see me actually do a whole playthrough of this uh, game I will just comment below and like and share this video all around and whatnot and uh, yeah if you want to see me play a complete playthrough of Star Ocean till the end of time I'll be more than happy to and so uh, that's that and stay tuned next uh, stay tuned on a Wednesday soon another gameplay video for you guys another random gameplay video so as I always say guys keep the faith and rock on <laughs>